Hello, hello. I have arrived. All right, so. Video games. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it always feels like, it always feels like when I come off of a break like this, an unplanned break like this, it always feels like I've been not streaming forever, basically. I'm sure I've, exp I've expressed this sentiment many times, but, uh, but yeah, it, is, it hasn't even really been all that long. <laughs> it hasn't even really been all that long. I last streamed, I think, yeah, it would have been, yeah, Thursday, Thursday. But yeah, only, it's only been one day since my, ra my last regular streaming day when I didn't stream. So yeah, anyway, today, getting over it with Bennett Body. Maybe the final part? Maybe? Maybe? We'll see, I suppose. But yes. It seems... Based... Mm, I don't want to say that it's likely. Not impossible. Yeah, hope you're relaxed here tonight. I will do my best to do so. Yes, thank you for thank you for joining again. I want to say, Maje, Maje. One one of these days I'll get yeah that approximately correct. But yes. So, where was I? Those good. I can live with that then for now. So yes. So, getting over it with Bennett Body. That is the game tonight. I suppose we might as well talk about the rest of the schedule for the week. So, I won't be able to stream at the usual time on Friday, at the very least. I know that much. And, depending on circumstances, I may be able to squeeze in a stream earlier in the day. I don't know when precisely that would be. I'd have to plan around that a little bit, but... Let's see. I don't... I don't foresee anything that would 100% make sure that I definitely can't stream on that day. But we'll, we'll, we will see. We will see what I can, what I can muster. But yes, as for the rest of the week, everything else should be more or less the usual, I think. I mean, yeah. So nothing, I guess, yeah, to, to get into it real quick. I did, uh, I am starting a bit late this week, this day, this day, Tuesday, because I ended up having to work late because I a uh, co-worker called in sick. But yeah. So, let's see. Wednesday should be the usual. 7.30pm Central Time. Tales of Arise. Thursday should be the usual. 8.30pm Central Time. With getting a... Er, Valhalla. Cyberpunk bartender action. With Sheppy Sheps. Also, I believe... Pretty much this whole time I've been referring to it as Cyberpunk bartending bartending action, but it's actually bartender action. But yes. So, that will be on Thursday. Should be at the, the usual time for that, 8.30pm Central Time. And then once again, Friday definitely won't be at the usual time because I will be working. And yeah, I can't, I can't be, or yeah, I almost certainly won't be streaming Saturday either for the same reason. That new Cyberpunk DLC is coming out next year? Hmm. Cyberpunk 2077, I assume? Yeah, I've never never played that game. Never played that game, but I have gotten the the most exposure I've had to it is watching part of the the Tim Rogers uh the Tim Rogers uh review of it. Yeah, pretty good story. Hmm. Yeah, I've watched part of the, the Tim Rogers review of Cyberpunk 2077. And when I say part of it, I mean that it I've watched, I think I don't I don't remember exactly how long it is, but it's like it's like I think six six or eight distinct videos <laughs> over the course each one like an hour or more long. So yes. When I when I say part of it, I mean I have watched one of those videos. <laughs> Anyway, Tim Rogers is a very good uh, reviewer. I, I quite like his style. I would highly recommend him to anyone anyone who is interested in watching video game reviews that are extraordinarily, <laughs> extraordinarily in-depth. Yes. 
So, let's see. Where else was I? I think that's basically it. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, so, Wednesday, Friday, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, or, no. Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, Tales of Arise. Thursday, 8.30 p.m. Central Time, Cyberpunk, Valhalla, Cyberpunk, Bartending Action, Bartender Action, with Sheppy Sheps. Friday, we'll see. Probably, if we stream anything, it will definitely be Tales of Arise. I just cannot say for certain when it will be. And then, yeah, definitely no stream Saturday. Definitely no stream Saturday. I can't simply move the Friday stream onto Saturday, which is what I would normally like to do on a Friday when I can't stream, because I will be stream I will be working on Saturday as well. But yes. So, the next week, the following week, we may see some some changes to the schedule due to the holidays and whatnot. But I think actually, I think actually it'll probably, probably won't change, at least not change much, because most of my, most of my Christmas holiday, uh, activity takes place on the, on Christmas Eve and on Christmas Day itself. So the rest of the week should be basically the same as usual, but we'll see. We'll see. Things can always change between now and then. Especially since I don't know all that's planned to happen, and when precisely it is going to happen. But, uh, but yes. I think that should be everything that needs to be said before we get into tonight's video game. So let's get into tonight's video game. Uh, right here. Got something... I need to clean my desk one of these days. <laughs> Oh, also, I just I just realized. Thank you for the 100 bits. I think I think you might have been the first person to ever cheer with bits, uh, Muggay. So thank you for that. I was completely not expecting that, so I did not respond to it in any meaningful way. So yes, once again, thank you. Yes, let us resume. All right, I remember. I thought. No problem. Yeah. Yeah, I remember having gone farther than this, but I think yeah, I fell I fell down, didn't I? Because I got I got overambitious. So yes. Alright, I just need to get used to the get used to the hammer again. That's definitely the biggest problem with these sort of week long breaks, is that, you know, I get out of practice on the on this game. And this is a game where you really kind of you kind of need to know what you're doing. But yes, I do remember, more or less, I do remember more or less what I'm trying to accomplish here. I need to hang off of the, the, the bucket with my hammer. I need to somewhat gently swing over, then jump off to reach the, reach the plank over there. And I remember vaguely the wooden construction up top that I need to clamber over, but not too much of the details of it. Yeah, kind of a happy to yeah, happy to see tonight. I have to wait two hours more so I can get at uh, try to get medical care. Mm. Last six months left medical care in Finland is so big failure they even turn ambulances away. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, nothing, nothing life threatening. I hope for you then. If it's been such a, uh, yeah, such a, such a long time without proper, ah, yeah, without the, uh, hard to say, hmm. So yes, so that was a pretty, pretty good first jump, I think. Ooh, and that was a not so good, <laughs> not so good second one. Oh, well, yeah, something going on in my stomach. Yeah. It could be some it could be it could be nothing, I assume, is what you meant to say, or it can, can be from stress. Could be something or could be from stress. Hmm. Alright, so <laughs> time to exercise the skills that we learned last time. Could be something. Okay. 
the skills of going a little bit slower, not being quite as uh, aggressive. Slept around two hours, brain's a little fuzzy. Fair enough, fair enough. But yes, I remember, I remember there was a tactic that I tried for a very long time to learn here. I don't remember it, what, it, what it is at all. Hmm. That was an unusually large and prominent spark, it seemed like. I don't think that necessarily means anything. But it seemed noteworthy. Let's see. It wasn't... Was, was I trying to, like, lift myself up like this? Let's see how long this takes. Not too long, I hope. Hmm. Yeah. At pardon anvil. Not too long. Um, Ogo jumper lift like that. I think Ogo jumping is always what's been what has worked for me here. So I think, oh, well, speaking of, so yes. So yeah, where was I? All right. So I don't know if you were here for that, but yes, I did. I did mention earlier, I feel like we're pretty close to the end of the game. So yeah, I don't necessarily want to be told exactly how close I am. Ah. I don't necessarily want to be told exactly how close I am, or rather, how close I was. But I think... I think we might be... Beat it pretty fast? Okay. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure we're close enough that we could probably beat it, based on my vague recollections of this game. I think we're close enough that I could probably beat it tonight if I don't waste too much time. Think you can beat it today? Yeah. Whoop. But yes. If we if we don't beat it today, I think I might I might go ahead and play it a little bit more on Wednesday. Just so we can wrap it up. Not have to wait another another week for the next attempt. Yeah, if you don't drop all the way back. All right, that the first jump was the first jump was the best. The first jump was the best. I got the furthest. I think I'm getting a little bit too impatient. Yeah, really good with mechanics, so you can climb pretty fast back there. Thank you. There we go. So yes, it's all just a matter of balance. Don't go too fast when you don't need to. Don't go too slow when it's disadvantageous. And don't let your desk get so cluttered that you're <laughs> bumping your mouse into things, because that's a thing that I just did. All right. Very good, very good. And position, and jump. I maybe could have angled that a little bit better, but it did still work out, so I can't complain. And jump. That felt almost like it was a bit too far, but these floating rocks have not been a huge hurdle for me. Not anywhere near as much as the anvil jump or the hat jump. So as long as I don't do that, <laughs> I was going to say, as long as I keep a level head, we shouldn't have too much difficulty. Oh well. But yes. Yeah, one thing I also don't think I've mentioned much on stream recently, but I'm planning on making a, you know, doing a general. Actually, I think I probably have mentioned this relatively recently, but, you know, I'm planning on doing sort of a general refresh of the look around here, a new model for myself in particular. Yeah, I've start, started putting a little bit more time into that project recently been trying been making more time for it so yeah it's been an interesting few months i haven't been doing a whole lot on that not necessarily due to that was a poor jump but yeah not necessarily due to lacking the time because while my schedule has changed i'm still working roughly the same amount of hours they're a little bit less convenient for me yeah miss many streams normally sleep at night it's almost 5 a.m at the minute yeah, no worries. You know, I've actually, 
yeah, I didn't uh, didn't stream for the majority of, of last week because I was actually sick for part of the week. Nothing, nothing major. Like, uh, honestly, like I had like I took like three days off due to being sick. I really didn't need to. <laughs> I really didn't need to. I probably could have made do with just like two or even one. But um, I don't know. In part, the mildness of my sickness probably was due to the fact that I was taking time off. It's pretty, it's been a pretty consistent, uh, always good to take a break at some point. Yeah. And yeah, especially when I'm sick, I've noticed in uh, a lot of my previous jobs, I've not, uh, you know, my bosses have not been super accommodating. So I've ended up working while sick a lot more than I uh, would like. And yeah, thus far, I have not worked a single full-time job in my life. So I've never had, like, I haven't, I've never had, like, sick time. I've never had the ability to, to take sick days. Like, if I'm not working because I'm sick, I'm just not making money. That's just money that's not going to be in my paycheck at the end of the, at the end of the week or two weeks or whatever, depending on the, on the specific job. So, you know, it's always been, very, it's always been disadvantageous, very bit disadvantageous for me to take time off due to sickness. And I've not had a whole lot of managers who were super accommodating with that. So I ended up having to work through the sickness a lot. And in the, the few times that I've had, that I've been able to just take time off completely from work due to sickness, I've noticed that I generally get, I don't get as sick. I don't get as sick, and I usually don't stay sick for as long. So yeah. I suppose it's not a revolutionary concept that resting while you're sick is good for you, but it's not something I get to experience all that often, unfortunately. So yeah. I know that the yeah, work culture here in the United States is pretty can be pretty harsh sometimes. Is um yeah, is it the same way in uh Finland that basically like if you do not have a, a full time job, if you're not working like forty hours a week at least, you typically don't get like any sort of benefits, you don't get the ability to take time off for you know, for sickness or anything or personal days that you still like, you know, get compensated for, basically. Because, you know, I can always just not work, but if I'm not working, I'm not making money, you know. And if this, if this was a full-time position, I would be able to uh, take time off. Let me, hold on. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't think we have game audio. Hold on. I just realized that. I, I double-checked that it was coming through earlier. Yeah, around here there's only one type of contract where you don't get money if you are sick. Normally, you around here you always get some money. Hmm. All right, where where's game audio? Hmm. Is that's that shouldn't be it. Hold on. Did I wait? What have I done? Oh dear. This is this it? Hold on. Nope, we don't have game audio still. Huh. Well, not a big deal in this game. That's fair. That is fair. And maybe I shouldn't worry about it too much, but I do want to make sure that it's fixed. I do want to make sure that it's fixed sooner rather than later, because it is a pretty big deal in Tales of Arise. And that's a game that I've already had like Two or three, two or three times, two or three times that I've been playing it that I've not had, yeah, that I've not had audio. Yeah, I need to restart this game to get sounds from games. I am getting sound from the game. Like, I'm getting the sound, I can hear it. I can hear it on my, in my audio setup, but I'm not hearing it in the, I'm not hearing it in the actual game itself, or I'm not hearing it, it's not on the stream, basically. Yeah, if you switch audio, 
yeah, switch audio source to this game isn't, it will switch to some other place. Yeah, basically, like I'm using two computers. I'm playing this game on a computer, and that is where I'm getting the, you know, sound from the actual, the actual game sound and the game video and all that. And that is, you know, going through a, an HDMI cord and all that. Let me just double check that I've got everything set up properly. Because it's entirely, oh no, ah. All right, I didn't have it set up properly. I wasn't actually outputting the audio from my computer. Yes, hello, uh, Joel 101. Yes, so it wasn't coming out of my computer. So that's what the issue was. Which is very odd. It's very strange that that was the case because it, I checked earlier and it wasn't doing that. And I haven't like, you know, reset any of my computers since then. I haven't changed anything since then, so. Just how things go sometimes, I suppose. Yes. So it looks like we have audio. And, uh. Whoops. Okay. Alright, let's refocus. The audio problem is solved. So now it is simply the jumping problem. That is the most pressing issue. I don't need to look at the, the game audio because I can. I have already seen that it is functional. Or at least I don't need to look at it at all times. Yeah, I think I'm one of the only people that can legit say this game ain't that hard. Impressive. But yeah, it's definitely... It's it's a game that you can... Yeah. It's a game that you can definitely adapt to, I think. Yeah. Uh, uh, beating it 50 times. Nice, nice. All right. Yeah, as of yet, I have I have not beaten this game. The closest I've gotten is I've seen it been beaten. I've seen, I think, one or two speedruns of it. Yeah, how long did you play? Yeah, do it 50 times. Yeah, I've seen one or two speedruns. 21.2 hours exactly. Nice. But yeah, I think, yeah, we're... This is part seven. So yeah, so we're about... I don't know, I think each part, each stream has been about an hour and a half of gameplay. So, yeah, approximately... Oh. Ooh. But yeah, so approximately that would be... Yeah, with the six streams that we did already, that would be about nine hours that I've played it. Yeah, used to do around 50 hours, but some of that is just messing around. No. Yeah, beat this game 51 times. Hmm. Huh. Average run is 20 to 10 minutes. Hmm. Very nice. I don't remember what the speed run, the speed run record is for oh, this game. No. I feel like I did know at some point, but I've definitely forgotten since. I guess, you know, what well, with having seen a speed run of it, I would have seen that. <laughs> oh. The average is 10 to 15 minutes. World record is one minute, one second. Okay. Gotcha. I felt like it was longer than that, but I guess it's been, it has probably been a year or so. Maybe a little bit less than that since I, since I first, uh, saw a speed run of this game. So things probably have, uh, improved since then. Yeah, fastest was around 7 minutes, 42 seconds, but I never tried to do speed runs. Yeah. EB is 7 minutes, 9 seconds, 97, 9, yeah, 957 milliseconds. Yeah, very nice. But yeah, I don't know that we're going to stick around uh, to play the game enough to, to get that good here. At least not on stream. At least not today. But yeah, it is always impressive hearing people people talk about, you know, all the all the practice that goes into, into the games like that. I've done a little bit of speed running in my time. I probably don't need to be swinging this much. I'm swinging too much. Right, I got distracted. Yes, I should have, probably should have jumped, yeah, that last time that I was going to the left there. But yeah, done a little bit of speed running in my time. I, I don't know. It, it always feels a little bit like I'm bragging when I say this, but I am currently the world record holder for uh, Jamestown. Which is not a hotly contested video game. There are three runners. 
and each of us have only ever submitted one run, as far as I'm aware. That would help, but it specifically said in the chat, rules, no backseating. Yeah. So, you know, if I ask, if I ask, then... Yeah, I just wanted to get all achievements. Yeah, if I ask, then it is fine to to make a... Yeah, to to offer advice and all that. Yeah, generally, generally I do not... Uh, do not want it unless I ask for it. Or just in the in the case of some yeah, some sort of like incidental information. Mm. Alright. So yeah, we're back up. We've been higher than this before. I don't remember. Oh. There we go. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't remember if I jumped directly over this way before last time. But I remember that we did establish that this is the way I want to go. And so with this, I think we're now officially as far as I've ever gotten, possibly a little bit. No, actually, probably a lot farther. Yeah, higher than this, you're pretty close to the end. This is about as close as we've gotten. I think, honestly, I don't know that I've gotten over to this right side. I got over to the left side last time and I tried to go left because I didn't know which way I was going. And then I failed to get on the right side and I <laughs> didn't make it back up before the before the end of the stream. Yeah, real quick. So yeah, so this is definitely the farthest I've gotten. Mm -hmm. Definitely the farthest I've gotten. Mm. Okay. So I need to probably go a little bit slower, but be a little bit more aggressive with my hammer work, I think. Need to swing the swing the hammer a little bit faster so I can catch myself faster. But not not so <laughs> welcome to Yeah, hope you enjoy your stay. Yeah. This is definitely a little bit intimidating. The notion of slipping all the way down and then back down that pit. I don't think I don't think the uh it would yeah, I don't think it'll drop me too far down if I fall. I don't think the angle would be right for me to, like, fall all the way down. Oh. Hmm. You know, this might be... Honestly, I might be overthinking it. Hmm. Alright, I think I was overthinking it Have a little bit. Have you thought about who you are in this? Are you the man in the pot, Diogenes? Hmm. Are you his hand? Are you the top of his hammer? In a long I think time not. We heard, uh... Where your hand moves, the hammer may not follow. Nor the man. Nor the man's hand. Long time in this since year's will, body. his intent. The embodied resolve in his uphill ascent. Very nice. Alright. So yeah. I was definitely overthinking it a little bit on my way up. But now I'm underthinking it because I've started falling again. Yeah, going a little bit too fast. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Better than I better than I expected. But I think yeah, I'm definitely going a bit too fast now because I'm not getting the not getting the grip that I was getting earlier. So I need to focus a little bit more. I think I need to do more pulling, maybe. Do more of a pulling motion. I think that was better than the sort of windmill motion that I've been doing. Yeah, normally worst part for, for any people who for who this is their first run. Yeah. Get a feeling from the, the icy wall and you can beat it in no time. Yeah, this <laughs> wasted so many times. I still hmm. I can't remember what was the most challenging obstacle for me. There have definitely been some some rough ones. There have definitely been some rough ones. Honestly, it might... It could be... I feel like the bucket was the most confusing one to me. Because I was going at it completely wrong. Yeah, I think it was the second time when I fell from this wall of the snake ride. That is not a fate that I wish to... <laughs> <laughs> to think about. Yeah, the bucket. 
Because yeah, the first when I first got to the bucket, I didn't really I didn't really get it. I tried to jump off the the top of it. Sorry that you decided to make yourself go insane playing this torture fest of a game. So here's a follow. Take a short break if you want to. But yeah, we're doing pretty pretty chill. Thank you for thank you for dropping by, Lost Boy Key. Yeah, we're pretty chill today. We've been pretty chill throughout the really the whole the whole journey. We keep it pretty calm around here. I'm enjoying the game. If we make it, we make it, and if we don't, we don't. Yes, once again, thank you for the follow. Ooh. Alright, that was a little bit dangerous. Yeah, not giving how too easy bucket tutorial. But yeah, I feel like we're pretty I'm pretty okay with the bucket now. There's probably a more efficient way that I could do it, but I think I'm okay at it. I'm okay enough that I can that I feel like I can do it consistently. It won't take me a long time to figure it out again. But yeah, just the, the first time around, I sort of misunderstood what I was trying to do with the bucket. I tried to stay on the top of it and sort of like jump off of it from there onto the, the left plank. And then I got it in my head that I would have to swing it all the way around to the left plank. And of course, neither of those were true in the end. Yeah, never seen someone play this game be, in be chill respect. Thank you. Yeah, first time with Bucket, I used a shortcut by accident. Because, yeah, I think... Yeah, I don't know. The Bucket was definitely the most confusing obstacle for me. It was the one that was the most counterintuitive from how I imagined it would be playing it. Possible to stay on top of the Bucket, but that's not exactly how you're going to get up without knowing the proper way. Yeah. But yeah, that was the most confusing obstacle, but I don't... I don't know if that was the one that I was stuck on for the longest. Definitely getting up to, like, just past the part with, like, the the jumble of furniture and the painting of Diogenes, the historical Diogenes, as opposed to the, the pot-based Diogenes that we were playing as. How long did the orange part take me? Um, I don't know, but I think... I think that was like that whole ascent, like that sort of that cliff face there getting past the the orange desk. I think that's probably the single longest obstacle that it took or like getting up that cliff is the single longest time that any obstacle took me. I don't I still don't remember what precisely that time was because I haven't been keeping track that precisely. It'd be interesting to sort of go back and sort of measure how long, how long various obstacles took me. And I think I might, might be a little bit quieter here. Might be a little bit quieter than I have been here, so I can focus a little bit more on the ascent. Because yeah, I think I'm getting, I'm trying to go at this a little bit too quickly. Yeah. Pushing the, pushing the hammer too far into the, into the cliff face, which is pushing me off. Rocks are very slippery, yeah. Yeah. Can only give you give you the reason why good yeah. Can only give you the reason why it could have been the longest the rocks are very slippery. Yeah. I think again that was sort of a it was more so a mental challenge than a physical one. A problem of me sort of going at it in a I was trying to be too sort of too quick and too forceful getting up that cliff, you know, rather than being patient, as I'm trying to do now. And so, yeah, so I feel like that, that approach was very, uh, not very effective for me then. Hmm. I think I might want to go a little bit faster. A little bit faster, not too much faster. All right, we're back up till the point where we're just about level with the cabin again. And yeah, if we can get up onto that lip, then we've got a nice little spot where we can sit for a second and get our bearings again. 
I'm going to take another sip. Sip. Yes, I hope everybody's keeping hydrated as well. My drink of choice during stream is, as always, a nice cold bottle of water. Water bottles have been a surprisingly common topic of conversation throughout this, this game, just in general. Not this stream specifically, but just sort of the, the course of this game. Yeah, I remember a few, probably quite a few streams ago, like maybe three or four, I talked about how I like to collect water bottles as a hobby. I talked about how I like to collect water bottles as a hobby. And I remember this, I remember this, uh, I remember this shopping cart. I know that this is very close to the end now. So, since we're close to the end, you don't want to start rushing. You don't want to get uh, too excited. Because the more, more excited I get, the more I try to rush through things, the more likely it is that I will fall. And we will lose the progress that we have gained so far with our patience and our, and our calm. So... We're going to be focused a little bit more than usual. A little bit calmer than usual. Now, you've conquered the ice cliff, the platforms, the church, and the rectory, the living room and the factory, the playground, the construction site, the granite rocks, and the lakeside. You've learned to hike. There's no way left to go but up, and in a moment, I'll shut up. But let me say, I'm glad you came. And you know what? I'm glad you invited us on this grand journey. This has been a very fun game. It hasn't always been, but for a lot of it, it has been pretty calming, I would say. Maybe not relaxing, but it's definitely... I've had a pretty, pretty calm, fun time playing this game. More so than perhaps some... Oops. No. Not to imply necessarily that the people who, who get angry are not having fun. Because that can be fun in its own way. <clears throat> yes. A, a calmer experience than most people have, I think. Yes, of course, now... Now that I know that I'm pretty close to the end, I'm getting a bit nervous. Hmm. Getting a little bit nervous. Can I jump off of this? It almost feels like I should be able to get up, get up there. Maybe I, maybe I could if I really, really went for it. But let's not try and reinvent the wheel too much. I know how to get up there. It's not a terribly difficult jump, so no real reason to make it any more difficult for myself. And of course, if I do have to take a little, a little break to maintain my focus, yes, the power is actually pretty hard because you can handle that hammer easily and slow it. Could be pretty easy for you. All right. But yes, I do. Yeah, I've definitely been swinging it a little bit, just a little bit too far. And there I was sitting on it for too long. But uh, yeah, I've been swinging it a little bit too far, getting up past that. I don't, I don't know, what is that? Is that a set of solar panels, maybe? Above this first set of dishes? Hmm. No, it doesn't look like solar panels. It doesn't have the, the sort of distinctive color of a solar panel. It's not really wide enough. None of those would really catch much light. But yes. All right. So let's get ourselves down here, reposition a little bit. Oh. Ah, not quite high enough. 
But yeah, I'm trying to catch myself on that next lip, basically. Essentially, you know, what I was doing there. Receivers? Hmm. 4G antennas are receivers. Okay, okay. So yeah, I don't I don't know too much about broadcast infrastructure, to be honest. That's definitely not a topic that I've looked into very much in my life. Alright. So up. Oh, there we go. I think I was probably jumping a little bit too aggressively. Because I don't, you know, I don't need to jump high enough to land on it. I need to yeah. Yeah. Uh ICT engineer, so I know some of this tech also. Gotcha. Uh, ICT. I can't say I'm familiar with that acronym. All right. I know that we are we are very close. We're very close. Information communication technology. Okay. So yeah. So this is definitely definitely your wheelhouse then. Hmm. We. All right. I can't pull down too much. I feel like if I try, I'm probably going to dislodge myself. Here we are. I'm almost a little bit worried to try and sit down on this. I don't know if it'll hold me, but... Oh, nope, there we go. Yeah, it's a little bit worried that it wasn't going to be wide enough, but we've sat on some pretty narrow spaces before. Alright. Take another sip to steady myself. Take a few deep, but slow breaths. In. Out. And so we proceed. Can I actually, can I just grab that? No, I can't. I don't think I can quite go that far. Ah, here we are. Right. I was kind of expecting that to happen after we after we jumped off like the top of the tower, but I knew that was going to happen sooner or later. I dedicate this game to you, the one who came this far. All right, everybody. I give it to you with all my love. Thank you very much, no. Bennett Foddy, for your time, for your game, for this journey. Oh. And thank you to you all who have joined me on it. All right. We have gotten over it, everybody. Honestly, that was a lot faster than I was expecting. Yeah, I didn't watch the videos on that first run, so there was panic in this part. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I was so sure I'll fall down. <laughs> Uh, don't don't worry. I was pretty pretty nervous there as well. I was pretty nervous there as well. But yes, we have I'm reached. I'm going down the oh. road feeling bad. Lord, I'm going down the road yeah, feeling nice. bad. Mission by John. I'm going by down this road feeling bad. Oh, interesting. And I ain't the gonna NYU be treated this away. I'm going where the yeah, chill wind never blows. It's been a while since blows. I wrote anything by hand to make my fingers Lord, start. I'm going where the chill wind never blows. I know that feeling. Blows. Yeah, I don't do a lot of handwriting I'm nowadays. Going where I'm not very good at it either. Enjoy this game. I really also enjoy the game that inspired me. Sexy hiking by Jazz Wind. The game you can still find at his website. I'll look into that one of these days. I'll look into that one of these days. I'll look into that one of these days. Might enjoy Punishment by Messoff. As a golfing brain world, zip I'm that going where eagle. the climate suits my cauldron. I'm going where my cauldron's never like, cold. fast enough to uh, catch most of those. I'm going but. where the climate suits my cauldron. Yes. I ain't gonna very, very, be very treated nice. this way. Yes, thanks to Jazzo, a genius and the inspiration for this piece. I do hope you get. I hope you get to play it one day. I'm going thanks down to this Nina road and Sibel, baby, bad. for the beginner, beginner's guide, Lord, and thanks to you for playing my game and bringing it back. 
I'm going down time when you got all the way to the top and fell all the way to the bottom. Okay, that's it for me. Be treated and it's fun. Way, what do you say? Yeah, now that there's also a bit here where it's going to like ask me to, I think, yeah, there's a thing you can only, you're not supposed to show on like streams or videos or whatnot. We'll probably, I'll probably go to the, yeah, the break screen for that when that comes up. Because I do want to see that. All right. Yes, welcome to the top of the mountain. If you're alone, you can come in inside and say hello. All right. So, thank you for being with me here. I will take a quick, short break. Yeah, also mods for this game so you can play with new maps. That might be something I look into down the line. So yeah. Yeah, go check it. Yeah. So yes. Thank you for being with me on the journey so far. I will take a short break to see this top of the mountain. And then I will be back and we'll uh, hang out a little bit longer, I guess. I'm going to say, I did not... I knew we were close. I did not... <laughs> I didn't expect myself to uh, manage this quite as well as I had. Yes, anyway, break time. Be right back. All right, we're back. I could have stuck around a little bit longer to see to see what, uh, yeah, what is what more. Well, I don't know. Probably shouldn't talk about it too much. But yeah. Anyway, not what I was expecting. I'll say that much. But yes. But yeah. <laughs> it is almost a little bit hard to to believe it that we, yeah, that I wrap things up this quickly. But uh, but yes. So I guess that's. That is getting over it. And here I was thinking that I'd have to dedicate at least one more stream to it. Maybe maybe even two. I was half prepared to make this just a getting over it week. <laughs> if I if I had to to get through the game this week. But No, <laughs> we don't have to do that. Yeah, I can get over it again. I could. I could. But yeah. I don't know. I think honestly again and again and again <laughs> I could I could but I think that's I think that's enough getting over it for tonight at least so I think probably I think probably what I'll do is I'll hang around and we'll chat a little bit and then I will then I will wrap things up and of course now my for some reason I've gotten logged out of my twitch account so I can't see who who there is available for me to raid uh, and I can't sign back in because I'm using my phone as a as my uh, webcam. <laughs> well, I guess I could, but uh, yeah, my webcam is what I is what I have my uh, you know authenticator app on. Well, yes. So I guess now that we uh, now that we have gotten over it, yeah, interesting about mods. Check this guy out. Yeah, I think I'll, I might look into that. Again, probably I won't be, won't be doing any mods anytime soon. Certainly not tonight. But, I think they're definitely worth looking into at least. Yes, now that we have, now that we have beaten it. Now that we have gotten over it. Post game chat. I'm going to change the title. And just chatting. Hmm. Huh, I thought I heard something. I thought I heard some music playing, but I can't discern where it's coming from. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, there's also a Discord channel for the maps. If you want to try something easier or harder, you should check that. Some of them are more fun than the original map. You know, I didn't... I didn't uh, think of this as a, as the sort of game that people would ma odd all that much, but I suppose it makes sense. <clears throat> it makes sense now that you think about it. It's a game with very simple mechanics, and it has sort of an art style that lends itself to, I suppose, um, yeah, you know. It's not a game where you, there are hundreds of maps, yeah. Yeah, the art style sort of lends itself to easy map creation, and just sort of the gameplay style. Because, you know, you don't need everything to be super polished, 
you can kind of throw things together. And, you know, not to discount the skill that is put into the throwing of things together in a way that makes a fun map. Add more stuff in game like checkpoints and enemies. Oh, enemies sounds interesting. I I imagine I imagine I don't know, just the, the, the thought I had in my head when, when you mentioned enemies was just the idea of just whacking whacking enemies with your with your <laughs> with your sledgehammer to defeat them. That's it. But yeah. I think like I said, did I change the category and all that already? If not, I have now. But yeah, so I think we will do a little bit of chatting here. <clears throat> I'm not going to aim for any specific amount of time that I want to stick around tonight, per se. I'm going to do a little bit more chatting tonight, and then we're going to call it for, for tonight. I just remember that since I'm using two computers, I can just go onto my Twitch on my other computer. That's not logged out. <clears throat> yes. So, getting over it. Yeah, it is a custom here, around here, when I beat a game, to sort of stick around and share my thoughts on it. Usually I do that during the credits, but this time I've round, I spent more time reading the credits. Yeah, try to solve quiz without, uh, oh, well, yeah. Try to solve quiz about, about HTTP and server protocols. Hmm. Yes, that is thoroughly out of my depth. I know that, hmm. HTTP stands for Hyper Hypertext Transfer Protocol, correct? That's hmm. I think that it is true. <laughs> but yes, that is the extent of my knowledge about HTTP and HTTPS. I know that HTTPS is like a more secure <laughs> is more secure than HTTP, but beyond that, I don't really know. But yes, anyway, so. Thoughts on the game. It's been a lot of fun, to be honest. But yeah, I was sort of... Yeah, S is S is with SSL security, so data is encrypted. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know what SSL means or stands for either. Yeah, even I can read that data when... Yeah, even I can read that data, what you send with, with on some HTTP site. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that... I knew that there was... Yeah, that HTTPS was more secure. I didn't know the specifics of it. But, uh, but yes. I know that I've, I've got, like, a browser extension that, like, uh, you know, makes makes my... Or, like, uh, you know, it's it's like HTTPS everywhere or something like that. The, uh, the idea behind it is that it makes otherwise non-HTTP... Uh, links into HTTP or non-HTTPS links into HTTPS links, something like that. But yes. Anyway, where was I? Just need to lurk on that site and see what is going on, what they do around there. But yes. So, where was I? Yeah. Just give any personal information on the site with the HTTP tag. Just don't give any. Any, yeah. Don't give any informa personal information on sites with an HTTP tag, yeah. Yes. So, where was I? Right. Video game. <laughs> I keep starting to talk about this game and then not talking about it. But yes, it's been fun. I've enjoyed it quite a lot. It was, in a lot of places, it was very relaxing and calming. In some places, it was very nerve-wracking. In particular, towards the end of this uh, this year this year challenge on the uh, on the tower, honestly, that's probably the best, the easiest time that I had. One of the easiest obstacles that I to get over was that radio tower. I was just very scared of it because I knew it was towards the end, and I was kind of concerned about what it may uh, what it may imply. The dangers that may be may lurk on it or beyond it. But that was pretty smooth sailing. But yes, once again, I suppose we already sort of reflected on it, but um, I guess to sort of just go back over the obstacles, more or less in the in the order that we went through them, or a reverse order that we went through them. 
The satellite tower is pretty easy. The glacier cliff, the icy cliff, that was it was harder than I than I I made it harder than it needed to be because I was nervous. I think if I had been a little bit calmer, I think I maybe I wouldn't have done it first try, but I definitely could have cleared it a lot faster, a lot faster and a lot more easily. But yes, the the bucket. Once again, that was the. It's an it's an obstacle that definitely sticks out as one that was very confusing to me, very counterintuitive to me, just based on how I tried to go about it. And I can, I can, I am 100% willing to admit that that's all on me. <laughs> it is entirely, entirely my fault that I, uh, yeah, did not, uh, you know, didn't, wasn't able to figure out how to deal with that, that bucket. It wasn't that, uh, it wasn't that hard in the end. It was a lot, a lot easier than I made it. Yeah, a lot easier than I than I made it be. Yes. Let's see. What else? The yeah, the floating rocks. The floating rocks were not terribly difficult. I think I definitely I did fall off of them a few times. I fell off of them once this stream, maybe two times this stream. But um, yeah, the the floating rocks weren't too difficult. The yeah, getting up the cliff after the anvil, the anvil jump was reasonably challenging. The anvil jump itself was pretty hard. <laughs> That's another one that, that stumped me for a good while. Yeah, so yeah, now my two essays and I can start to my Christmas holidays. Just hope to figure out why I can't uh, eat almost anything at the moment. I won't eat so much Christmas food. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I, do. I definitely hope that you uh, yeah get to feeling better before too long there. And yes essays. It's been a long time since I've done an essay. It's been a, a few years now since I've been out of college, and I'm glad that I don't need to do very many essays in my in my day-to-day -day life. Zero essays, in fact, in my day-to-day -day life. I guess I did do a sort of a... I'm not sure if I'd honestly go so far as to say that it was organized enough to call it a video essay, but I did, you know, research and exposit on Destiny lore for a few videos at one point. But that's the closest I've gotten to doing an essay in my, yeah, since, since graduating college. Yeah, about 15, 15 essays in the last month. They're short, but one's like 1,000 to 100 to 1,000 words. Okay. So yeah, not too bad then. Yeah, honestly, even when I was in college, I didn't need to do a lot of essays. I was mostly in sort of a, I was in digital art and I did a little bit of programming mostly. I guess I, maybe if I'd done a little bit more programming, I might have done more essays, but like in the, you know, in the art field, generally the way that you demonstrate that you are good at, that you know things about art is you do art. Or at least that was my teacher's teaching style. That, you know, you do art, and that is how I know that you know how to do art. It's not much more, not much more complicated than that. Yeah, didn't do any essays when I was in study for, or in, in Hank for ICT engineer title. Hmm. Yeah, I guess, you know, it depends on, depends on the exact schooling environment and all that. There's a lot of factors that go into what essays you write and what you write essays about. So I definitely did do some, do some essays for pretty much every topic that I studied in, in uh, college, except I think for... I don't think I did an essay for Music Fundamentals in that class. Hank or Hamp... Ah, okay. I assume that's an acronym and not... <laughs> that, your S that your university is not simply called Hank. H-A-N-K. H-A-M-K. So yes. So yes. So. Where was I? Oh yeah, essays. Yeah, I didn't do a lot of essays in college. I didn't enjoy the essays that I did do. But I was pretty good at them. I'm pretty good at writing, I think. But yeah, I'm definitely... I'm better at... I'm a better, much, 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 much better typist than I am a... than I am a handwriter. If I had to handwrite an essay, I've never needed to do that in my entire life. If I did need to do that, I probably... 
I would probably have been simply miserable. Hmm. All right, I absolutely cannot even <laughs> even begin to. Yeah, I don't. I'm not going to try to pronounce that because I feel like I feel like it would be rude. Honestly, I feel like I I feel like yeah. I don't think I can do a reasonably get close to how to how I would pronounce that. How one would pronounce that properly. Yeah, it would be fun. I guess, I guess. I don't... Yeah, there's sort of... I guess... How do you pronounce the... Like, the A with the... Like, uh... Dots above it. I assume... Yeah. Because I would know... I know that that has to be pronounced somewhat differently. Hmm. Yeah, I cannot... I cannot intuit how the... I want to call it an accent mark, but I don't know that that's what it would be called. Yeah, I guess you know what. <laughs> if you're if you're saying that it'll be fun, ah, like how you say hand, okay, hand. All right. If you if you say that it's that it, that it'll be fun, then I'll I'll give it a go. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Know. It'll we'll we'll go for it. I guess I probably I'm probably overthinking it because we read it and say it the same way. Okay. Probably over overthinking it, trying to be a little bit more polite than necessary. In English, reading and writing is different. Yeah, don't, don't I know it? Yes. So, amin a ama atikor orkeo kolu eriko o ois i i tit. Yeah, very, very halting my pronunciation there. Very halting my pronunciation there. Yeah. Hmm. Amin a amati ka or amati ti korkyo yako olu u olu olu hmm olu eriko eriko. Yeah, like if I read the word can to finish it, it sounds like gun. Hmm. Um, hmm. Understand what, what you were saying? That's good, at least. <laughs> that my pronunciation resembled uh, resembled something comprehensible. That's pretty nice. That was my main my main worry that I would <laughs> say something completely indecipherable that might come off as as uh, disrespectful, which is yeah, I don't know. Yeah, better than many who study Finnish. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. From India and other countries. Hmm. Yeah, I've I've been told that my ability to pronounce languages that I don't know is pretty good. Like I've I think yeah, one time like um so in college in fact, bring it back to to college. Like I had so, or I met some students who were from uh I don't remember where it was precisely, but somewhere, somewhere in South America, I believe. I don't know that they were from Brazil. I want to say Brazil, but I don't think it was Brazil. I think I'm thinking Brazil because I was introduced to them by a guy who was from Brazil. But um, yeah, in a in a South American country, one of them. <laughs> unfortunately, I do not recall which one. Like they uh. I was sitting and talking with them at lunch one day and they like had me read some place names and they were they were impressed at how well I was able to pronounce them. But yeah. I can't account for Yeah. You are like mastermind if you can read the sentence in, in Finnish. Uh you and people in Finland can't say that? Hmm. So it's a challenge then. Alright. Uh Sita Utsuta Utsutan Utsutan Oravan Li Iha Ihaxi Ihoxi Sita Utsu Utsuta An Jaha Anixen and Anixen Liha Oxy Toxi Ihoxi Toxi 
Yeah, I feel like I feel like I'm when I when I read a a, a non English language, my my mind sort of tr defaults to trying to vaguely emulate uh, Japanese pronunciation or like yeah, Japanese uh yeah <laughs> because that is the the only foreign language that I'm used to trying to sound out. But yeah, it's been a very very good a very long time since I since I studied Japanese. I do not, yeah, I'm definitely not anywhere near proficient in it, even less so than I than I was. I do want to pick pick up Japanese studies again. That can maybe do, be something I I do on stream one of these days. But anyway, <laughs> where was I on obstacles? I was talking about obstacles. Oh yeah. Anyway, so the hat, the hat itself wasn't terribly difficult. The cliff leading up to the hat was a little bit difficult. Not as hard as the anvil jump, I don't think, though. Um, the church itself was pretty easy to get up and around. I, yeah. I didn't I didn't see it coming. I didn't remember that it was there, but the bat jump scare didn't throw me off. Yeah. Because that Janikli is hard to say because it switched rhythms many times on each of the, on those words. Hmm. Ah, wait, hold on. Not Janik. Jan. Yeah, hand. Janik. Janik se en li hoxi toxi. Li hoxi toxi. Or li hoxi. Li hox. Eh. Li hoxi is toxi. Li hoxi is toxi. Li hoxi is toxi. Honestly, that's kind of, that's kind of fun to, kind of fun to say. Uh, it is, it is called the musculature of the hair in English. Okay. So yeah, so it's a Li Hoxis Toxi. Yeah, so it's sort of like a it's like a tongue twister basically. But it's based uh based on the different uh the different rhythms like you said. You can get why it goes messed up. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, the church and the rectory and all that were pretty easy. Messed up like everyone else around here messes it up as well. Gotcha. But yes. Church and rectory were pretty easy. The cliff getting up to them was pretty challenging. Pretty challenging. Uh, a little bit demoralizing, a few of those falls. Yeah, normally we say those when we are drunk. Fair enough. That definitely doesn't help, I would imagine. But it adds a little bit more challenge, I suppose. But yes. So yeah, the cliff, like the cliff above the orange desk, was pretty challenging. Pretty challenging. Definitely, definitely the site of some of the most demoralizing failures. But yeah, that was pretty challenging. Um, if you can't say it, you are too drunk. Many people can't say it sober, <laughs> so they don't know it's kind. Of, so they don't know that it's kind of a super fun. Gotcha. Now I kind of want to talk about English tongue twisters, but I can't like remember like basically any off the top of my head. Um, I guess there's sort of the basic ones, you know, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peck pepper peppers. Yeah. Peter Piper picked a peck of peck. Yeah. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Yeah, there's also a, uh, there's also, I guess, yeah, another tongue twister that I, that I know of is one that I, I often use to sort of warm up before the stream. I will, I'll go over it, uh, yeah. for me, this is kind of hard, impossible to say musculature. Hmm. Yeah, there's a, there's a, I didn't actually, didn't actually warm up with it today because I was in a little bit of a hurry because we were, you know, late, but. Yeah, uh, often before stream, I will. There's a tongue twister that I'll recite a few times to sort of get my vocal muscles warmed up. Basically, yeah, it goes. Uh, what if to do die today at a minute or two till two? A thing distinctly hard to say and harder still to do. But there'll be a tattoo, a twenty tattoo, a rat tattoo. The dragon will come when he hears the drum at a minute or two till two today at a minute or two till two. I also did that for English. 
yeah, I'm pretty good at pretty good at that particular tongue twister because I say it a lot. <laughs> you know, two to three times a day, or four or five times a week, sometimes. But uh, but yeah, what a to do to die today, and a minute to do still do. Thing distinctly hard to say and hard to still to do. It'll be tattoo, tattoo, or tattoo, and the dragon will come when he hears the drum of a minute to do still do to die, and a minute to do still do. Yeah, stumbled a little bit there on some of the some of those. Pretty good pronunciation in general, I think. Tongue twisters are pretty fun. Tongue twisters, puns. I like playing around with language. I definitely, if I were not a... If I didn't want to pursue uh, art as a career, I think probably art and video games as a career, probably I think link linguistics would be something that I would... Uh, I think probably I would have gone to college for linguistics. If I hadn't gone for video games, because I do like to, uh, I like I like learning about languages. I've not I've not successfully learned one other than English in my time, but I do like learning about them. I like little tongue twisters. I like uh, I like tongue twisters. I like puns. I like poetry and all that. All very, very interesting seeing how different people communicate or seeing different ways to communicate and all that. But yes. So, the living room, as it was put, was pretty easy. Most of that wasn't too challenging. Getting up over the, like, bathtub area was a little bit hard, but it wasn't too difficult. Let's see. Getting up into there past the... Yeah, getting up into there jumping from the like security camera. That was that was one of the the obstacles that I thought would trip me up a lot, but that I managed to accomplish faster than I was expecting. Japanese and Chinese language is easy to speak for me, but language is super hard. Language is definitely pretty challenging. I definitely respect people who who know more than one, considering that I only have one. Yeah. Only have one language that I'm fluent in. Yeah, I've used a lot of time on the serious part. But yeah, I definitely feel like uh, Japanese is, is definitely a language that's relatively easy to speak. Spanish is pretty easy for my tongue also. Hmm. But yeah, Japanese is, I think, a language. Uh, just know a little bit of Spanish. Hmm. Yeah, Japanese, I think, is a language that's relatively easy to speak because it's very consistent, you know? The, you know, the... It has very few sounds that you need to know like because it is a uh, because it is a uh, you know the si it is based around syllables rather than about around uh, you know consonants and vowels like English is and I don't, know, I don't want to say most languages because I don't know enough about languages in general to say how common that is but it's definitely how I think most Germanic and uh, romance languages are, if nothing else, and those are the ones that culturally I am most familiar with. But yes, so yeah, so since you know, in Japanese, basically, if you read at least you know, uh, hiragana, katakana, if you see one, then you know, you know, you know exactly how it's going to be pronounced, it doesn't change, it doesn't change. And there's relatively few distinct syllables that you could potentially need to learn. Whereas, you know, languages like English have like a lot of uh, a lot of weird vowel clusters a lot of the time. Like, you know, S T R in like straw or stream, things like that. Combining three three different consonants simply Un unthinkable, unheard of in Japanese. You can't you can't combine two consonants basically unless they're the same consonant. Like you could say kekon shimas, but you couldn't say like you couldn't combine a k and a and a d and a uh, and a r sound. I don't know what that would sound like in English either. <laughs> I did just pick those examples more or less at random. I guess, yeah, S and T and R sounds also all exist in Japanese in some capacity. Their equivalent of the R sound is a little bit different from the 
from R as it exists in English. Because it's, uh, you know, the Ra in Japanese isn't, isn't quite the same as Ra in English. Ra, Ra. The, the Japanese, like, equivalent to R, what we sort of translate as R generally, is a sound that's sort of halfway between the, the Ra or the R sound and the L sound. Man. Talking about Japanese makes me want to study Japanese again. Some of our tongue practice lines are... Hmm. That is also a question phrase and this one sounds beautiful for many people. Hmm. Yeah, not bad. You can really feel not bad. Not even bad. You really good. Yeah, really could learn to how to speak English. Hmm. All right. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah, the little marks are are throwing me off. I'm all I see those and I assume oh this must be something that's difficult to pronounce. But you've already told me how to pronounce those. So, ala a ra ka tu ita ra ka ka ya en han mi ina ra ka ha finish brain is tired yeah i i assumed as much i assumed as much but yeah might be might be another thing we look into one of these days but uh but yeah Need to get back to the, the topic of, of the video game that we just played. So, where was I? Oh yeah, so living room, not too hard. Yeah, English, you cough alone, you cry alone, you sit alone, you cough while crying. I think I'll get back to the tongue twisters in a second, because I do want to, yeah, keep up on the stay on topic here for a little bit. So yes, so the entrance to the living room with the security camera, much easier than I expected it to be. The little like ox uh, thing that I had to cross to get over there, including that little like uh, over or underhang there, fairly easy. Playground was harder than I expected. I think it's definitely one of the ones where, if I wasn't careful, if I wasn't careful, that was one that I could lose a I could lose very easily on. Yeah, the construction site not too hard. Not too hard in general. I don't remember it super well because I guess it's we didn't make all that many mistakes that put me back to the construction site past that point. Yeah, I usually didn't fall further than the the playground. Yeah, construction site. Uh, what was before that? The I don't remember what the what term bet and it used, but yeah. Most, honestly, yeah, most of what, everything leading up to the construction site, now that I think about it, it kind of blends together in my mind, because it wasn't too difficult. I think you said it was like the granite cliffs or whatever, something like that. Yeah, and then the, the lakeside, all of those were fairly simple. I didn't have to revisit them very often after I, after I cleared them for the first few times. So yeah, so those don't stick out as much to me. All in all, the game has been very fun. Yeah, it started out very, very calm and relaxing. Ended up being a little bit less so as we got further up. And I started to get more nervous about losing, uh, losing progress. But all in all, it was a very, very fun game. Very, very fun. Eh. Very interesting challenge sort of in the 
just in the sort of executional aspect of it. You know, most games do as much of it, do everything that is within their power to make their controls as easy as possible. Even in games that are otherwise pretty hard, just by execution alone, usually they try to make the controls as easy to grasp as possible, as easy to learn as possible. So it was definitely a very different, in, uh, a different experience playing a game that was deliberately designed to be sort of awkward in the same in the way that moving yourself around with a hammer when you're sitting in a in a pot was. Yeah, I enjoyed hearing Bennett's thoughts as he played through the game, or as I played through the game. Yeah, I wish I could have maintained sort of a, a slightly steadier pace of progress so that we wouldn't have had, like, there were definitely, like, several streams when I didn't hear from Bennett Foddy at all. And so I've sort of, to a certain extent, I've sort of lost the, the plot, so to speak, of, like, a lot of the sort of thoughts that he was carrying throughout the project. But yeah, in general, I like hearing Bennett's thoughts. I like to hear the little little bits of poetry. I like to hear the little songs here and there. Yeah, I think you can beat this game in, one or, in under one or two hours now. Maybe, maybe. I feel like I'd probably struggle with that if I tried to keep commentary up throughout. throughout. But I definitely think I could beat it in... I definitely think I could beat it in... With commentary, I could definitely beat it in less than four hours. And even that's probably maybe a little bit generous. Yeah, one to two hours. You don't get stuck in so many, much in so many places. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely the biggest part of it. Just knowing how to, uh, knowing consistent ways to get through, get through things like that. Yeah, I feel like if I was, uh, you know, open, yeah, no basic mechanics, so it should be easy. Yeah. Definitely a lot easier to beat it the second time around if I if I go around get around to that, I think. Yeah, of course things happen if you're eh, and if you're lucky you don't fall, fall at all. Yeah. So yeah, so yeah. All in all, very fun game. Definitely a different type of challenge to most of the most games that I've played here. Yeah. Just go, just go same relaxed way and I think you'll do it. Yeah. I definitely think that's sort of where a lot of people kind of go wrong. I don't want to, you know, say that anyone's, anyone is wrong in the way that they play their game. But, you know, getting, getting, it's definitely the sort of game where if you get angry at it, you'll do a lot worse at it. A lot, very quickly. Like, if you, if you lose your focus, if you lose your calm and you're just trying to, you know, scramble back up the mountain, you can really, really cause a lot of trouble for yourself. Yeah, staying, staying calm, just in the, the general way that I do. Yeah, like my average with slow, yeah, low, low pace was 10 to 15 minutes normally. Yeah. Staying calm and focused and, you know, knowing what you're doing instead of just like trying to tackle it as quickly and aggressively as you can definitely makes a big big difference so yeah fun game fun game yeah again i don't i don't know that it's a game that i'm going to continue playing like right away but i could definitely see myself playing this game again on stream somewhere down the line probably i would start i would uh if I were to play it again, I'd probably play it on, or I'd probably play mods or something like that, custom levels, things like that. Um, yeah, I guess now, now I need to start thinking about what I'm going to do on these, uh, on Tuesdays. Yeah, what new games there are. Because yeah, it feels like it's been a long time. It's only this, 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 uh, playthrough of, of getting over it has only been like seven parts long. But it's definitely felt a lot longer due to I've taken a lot of uh, yeah, there I've taken a lot of short breaks throughout these past few months during the time that I've been playing this game, and I hope to uh, I definitely hope to maintain a more consistent pace going forward. Because yeah, it's definitely been a it's been a matter of some frustration to me that I've sort of been taking these frequent short breaks. 
I do intend to take a longer, longer break, not too long from, not too far from now. That get a little bit more proper rest before, uh, once we're, you know, once we're done with uh, Tales of Arise. But yeah, for right now, I'm going to focus on, you know, getting back up to a pretty consistent pace playing through games. Until, again, until such time as Tales of Arise is done. Then I'll take a longer break, get some get some more other projects worked on and stuff like that, and be back with some more, you know, a little bit more energy, I think. Because, yeah, definitely part of it has just been my sort of self-care has uh, been a little bit poorer recently, especially in these past few few weeks, few months. Uh, I've definitely been, uh, I've been sleeping a lot, I've been sleeping a lot worse than usual. I haven't I just haven't been uh, paying that much attention to it my work schedule has changed again and with it you know my sleep schedule has also changed a little bit largely just due to the fact that now I don't need to get up in in the morning as often as usual so I <laughs> so I end up staying up later but I still end up sort of waking up at around the same time as usual just because I don't know I just don't uh it's hard for me to sleep in. Like, it, regardless of when I fall asleep, I almost always wake up at roughly the same time. And I also don't like, uh, I don't like taking naps. So, if I, if I go to bed an hour late, if I go in to bed an hour late, then that's just an hour less sleep that I'm gonna have. I don't, I can't really just, like, sleep in an hour later. I can't take an hour long nap later. I just can't, uh, I don't know, I just, it's very difficult for me to sort of do that. But yeah, so, you know, I want to, I want to, and again, this is, this isn't super, I guess, relevant to the stream, but, you know, you know, look after my health a little bit better. Look after my health a little bit better. Sleep better, eat better, exercise better, all that. Because, yeah, definitely, you know, not doing those things has definitely been, I think, part of the... Part of why I've been lacking in energy recently, lacking in motivation to to stream and all that, to do work on this on things outside the stream. But yeah, you know, it's all it's all connected. You really can't sacrifice anything in particular over the long term and just hope that it'll keep working. I don't know. Maybe you can, <laughs> but I can't. I am. I I do not. My mind does not, my mind and my body do not allow me to simply, you know, to, to work for any real length of time on short sleep or on a poor diet or on a poor exercise regimen. But yes, I think, I think that should be basically everything that needs to be said. Although actually, hold on, hold on. There's still one more, that, that last, uh, last tongue twister you posted. I'm going to try try that. But then, after that, I think we're going to head out and do the usual raid and wrap things up for tonight. So. There we are. I definitely felt a little bit less awkward than some of the some of the attempts that I've gone at before. Yeah, don't know how how don't know how I am rude, but laugh half always when you say hold on, hold on, something else. <laughs> Reminds me of that, that's some comedy stuff. Fair enough. I I can see the the humor in that. But yes. Anyway. So, like I said, I think I'm gonna wrap things up here. So. Oh yes. So schedule. Yeah. I think you go to some finished lessons and you read those like <laughs> read the those like that way. The teacher will be in shock. Well, I might keep that in mind then. I will be the greatest 
the greatest at reading Finnish tongue twisters. So yes. So yeah. Right, right. Hard to believe anyone can read the read those like that on the first try. So yeah, thank you very much for for saying that. So yes. So, great. Yes. Okay. <laughs> A lot, a lot, thinking about a lot with the game and the and the tongue twisters and all that. People in here can't read it like easy peasy. Yeah. So, if anyone has any raid suggestions, as always, I would be delighted to hear them. If not, I can find a raid target. A lot of good, uh, a lot of good candidates out there today. It looks like. But yes. Once again, I want to off offer the chance to to suggest to anyone who would like to. Sit. Thanks for the stream. Yeah, one hour before I gotta go check out that medical care place. Gotcha. Well, once again, I hope that you start feeling better soon, that they're able to figure out sort of what's the what the issue is. You know, it is definitely my hope that it's nothing serious. But uh but yeah. Yeah, once again, give you a little bit more time to make a suggestion if you'd like to. If not, I think we'll go and visit. We'll visit, um, yeah, we'll visit Vault today if we, if, uh, no one else. So yeah, go over the schedule again real quick. So, yes, okay. <laughs> For a second there, I forgot what day it was. But yes, tomorrow, Wednesday, should be the normal. Long time for my friends, at least, and wrong day also. Fair enough, fair enough. I suppose, yeah, from what you've said, this is definitely... It's a it's a bit of an odd hour for streamers in Finland, probably, or just people in Finland in general. So I can imagine it would be somewhat difficult to, yeah, somewhat difficult to uh, six a.m. Yeah, not a whole lot of people streaming at six a.m. I don't think, but probably a non 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 negligible number. Yeah, two hours later is better for me. You normally wake up around eight a.m. Fair enough, fair enough. But I suppose that's, you know, what VODs are for and all that. I hope you enjoy some of those on your own time as well. But yeah, okay, schedule, right. <laughs> Too distracted. Check, check some streams, we'll take my morning coffee. Yeah. So, tomorrow, Wednesday, Tales of Arise, since we, you know, have cleared getting over it today. Thursday, uh, Valhalla, Cyberpunk Bartender Action with Sheppy Sheps. And then Friday, oh right, Friday, right. Uh, no stream Friday at the usual time. I might stream early on Friday, I might not, we'll see. I'll try to figure something out, something out. But, you know, it, it all depends a lot. So yes, Friday, don't know what, what, that. I know what, you know, if we, if we're playing a game, it's going to be, it's going to be Tales or Rise, but I don't know when, is what I mean to say. I don't know when precisely it will be. So I think other than that, that should be everything for this upcoming week. 7.30 p.m. Central Time Wednesday, uh, 8.30 p.m. Central Time Thursday. Yeah, at least if I'm watching for, if I am awake for some reason. Gotcha. Yeah, 8.30 p.m. Central Time Thursday. Unclear what time Friday. <clears throat> Next week again. I'm thinking at this point that I won't necessarily be expecting any changes in schedule despite the holidays, because I don't expect to be doing anything special uh, before before Christmas Eve. So, yeah, everything should be back to the usual schedule next week, but I can't guarantee anything. I think, yeah, usually usually around holiday times, uh, chaps, chaps, uh, yeah, Sheps may be, may be out of town, so we might not be doing the collab next week. But, um, yeah. And so again, I'll need to figure out what we're going to be playing on Tuesdays, starting next week. But, yeah, anyway. All of that said, I think, like I, like I mentioned, we go and visit Altariana for tonight's raid. Yeah, playing some Terraria, looks like. Fun, fun. So, 
slash raid slash raid Altariana. And yes, the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. So, that should be everything that needs to be said. So, schedule, yeah, schedule, games, all that's good. Okay, raid time. <laughs> so, thank you all very much for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let us get this raid underway. <laughs>